Attention Shards. Originally created for the Imperial Guard of the Adol Empire, these essence-infused crystals absorb tension, the unseen energy generated during combat. Once filled, the energy stored in these tension shards can be used to unleash powers or unfold weapons. The energy within the tension shards can be channeled with devastating results. Prospects and Absolvers can learn new powers and carefully choose which to equip as they head into battle. A variety of different powers exist, ranging from healing damage taken mid-battle to draining your opponent's stamina. Tension shards can also be used to quickly unfold a weapon in the heat of combat. Unfolding a weapon in combat changes your combat deck, making it harder for your opponent to anticipate your movements. Weapon attacks inflict more damage than bare hands, while also adding in cut damages, which chip away your opponent's health, even while they are in the defensive guard. Take heed. Weapons can break if used for too long, and warriors can be disarmed by a flurry of targeted blows. When a fighter is disarmed, their opponents are able to pick up the weapon and use it against them. As the structural support at the base level of Task's suborbital outposts, Trench is a lawbreaker's map that challenges players in a variety of ways. Featuring a large zero-g exterior, vents that can propel you into the gravity-defying mayhem, and a giant chasm in the center of the map that ditches the ground completely. In the game's fiction, Trench features three large spires that stretch into the sky, and serve as the base structure and power source for another lawbreaker's map, Vertigo. It's a hazardous task facility that has fallen into disrepair and is in constant contention, as the faction who controls what's on the ground controls the sky. In regards to gameplay, Trench employs a number of unique additions to Lawbreaker's gravity-defying combat that focuses on high-skill movement and traversal, along with long-range opportunities for roles like the Gunslinger. In addition, the map features vents that can provide a unique movement mechanic to all roles, a wind tunnel-like effect that thrusts players up into zero-g for high killing angles and better view of objectives. It's a medium-sized map with sight lines that span from base to base. While playing Trench, keep your role in mind. When using lower health characters, stick to close quarters tunnels for moving from one side of the map to the other. In addition, split-level charging rooms and bases require multi-level defense and offense. Also, don't forget the middle of the map has no ground whatsoever, so make sure you're good enough to navigate, because without risk, there's no reward. Trench is a lawbreaker's map that modifies some of the game's gravity-defying expectations, as it plays with long-range sight lines, a center zone with no ground, and vertical mechanics that can send any roll high into the sky, making for an experience all of us here at Boss Key Productions thinks will challenge players to improve their skills and get them kills. Lazarki, you there? Dispatch. We got an emergency here. Can anyone hear me? The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. KPD? Anyone in there? I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozano.
searched for control. A way to pull through. When you're in love, you have to do tears. To smother your furies. And banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through storm black seas, they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul. To these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats your heart. You fought for love unspoiled. By your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no need to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. Can't say we can use all the luck we can get. Done! And some guns. More like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarv anyway? Purpose? I'd rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Work with me, Eli. You still don't get it? There's nothing you can do, Batman. Please, please. Anything you want. Give him up, and I'll make that danger go away. No. I can't. You've seen his machines. You're completely insane. No. I am death. <laughs> Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. To have him returned, it's unsettling. He used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Game on! You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. The criminally insane, you're drawn to them, aren't you? <laughs> I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? I need that favor you owe me. We all wear masks. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed.
experience, yeah. uh, like you were talking about, whether it's in the paddock, whether it's in the it's in the garage, uh, whether it's around the racetrack. Mm -hmm. um, so, working with Formula One over, over the years has been uh, has definitely been great. So, can you talk to me a little bit about how uh, it being international sport influences the the development of this? So I mean, I think the thing with Formula One is it's it's got a very strong following in in uh, Europe, mm -hmm. and you know through the game we've actually been able to really widen that as well throughout the world, and obviously now there's a lot of interest over here. You know, there's the Haas team, there's you know American races. Need a pick me up. Hey. I'm picking up some weird fluctuations in the gravitational field. It appears to be localized above the planetarium. Whoa, it's a tractor beam. What do you think they're tractoring? Sounds like Uranus. Let's knit this in the bud, shall we? You're approaching the planetarium now. Confirmed Legion forces have taken up positions around the facility. You should expect to face some resistance. What a lovely surprise. The agents of mayhem. Hammersmith? This is a secure channel. You think too highly of your technological prowess. Do I have to come over there and kill you myself? Hey, there's something happening in that outdoor theater area. Why, yes. I turned this planetarium into my very own tractor beam control center. Agent, we need access to those controls. I've marked the location. what was going on, right? And the first, uh, the first tour, of du tour of duty is on Normandy and uh, D-Day. And that was a, you know, a, a big thing for a lot of people. So you're experiencing uh, a squadron that is in the, uh, or a platoon that is in the, the first division that goes across, uh, it starts in Normandy, goes all the way across France, Belgium, and into uh, Germany. I wanted to bring to life this concept of real teamwork yeah. And World War II was about that. It was about your squad. And so war is that experience. It's funneling true axis and allied collision of forces into these very strategic examples. You're seeing right here, they're trying to capture the manor. Well, the axis team, the Germans, are trying to defend it. So we've built custom maps that allow you to move through these series of asymmetrical objectives as you fight to take um, hollow ground. That's cool, and, and, and this is great footage. I actually uh, hadn't seen this yet, uh, but just it's it's so interesting, like the, the the firepower that was used back then. I mean, it's so it's yeah. so um, brutal in some ways compared to the, you know the the sleek futuristic kind of yeah. weaponry we see nowadays. So.